Alright, so I put it off for almost like two weeks, but I reckon it might be time to see if uh, like the Season 7 quest is something cool or just a comic. Because like a comic is cool and all, but the only problem is, uh, do you want me just to read the comic in like seven sections or do you want me to do it all in one? Because all in one will be like 30 minutes or something like that. Why, if I did the seven sections, then there'd be like five to ten like minute videos because I have to like talk about it, read it, and all that. But if I do it all in one, you don't have to know what happened last time because like it's all in one. But anyway, with season seven and the quest, uh, we've got uh, the hunt for an antique battery force. Forces Lifeline Gibraltar, Octane and Pathfinder to confront their past as families are re reunited, secrets are uncovered, and their loved ones are taken hostage. But who's the real villain in this story? You only think you know. Okay, so I haven't, well, I have no like idea of it. I've just seen like these pages. Which don't look good, but yeah, we'll see. Star Quest. You know, it all looks like the comics. Ah! Comics. Great. Yeah, so I might be a couple behind because I don't reckon I got everyone. Could be missing about two or three, but oh well. Okay, I've got a second plan for this one. So, on the map, well, in like maintenance, there's like a Marvin, well, there's like this character, which is pretty much a Pathfinder, so, once we'll go in as Pathfinder and see if I can interact with him. Okay, so, I reckon he's normally in here, but. Not sure what it was. Maybe it's a different place. Walk around. Yeah. Okay, seems I was in the last time. Alright, seems I was in the okay. wrong location last time. Got the area. Marvin here. They must be using it for something. I cannot use my ability. Oh, Adding an extra pair of eyes. No, I can't do anything. I don't know. I might see if I shock it if it does anything. I don't want to kill it, but yeah, I'll see. Okay, find time to shock it. Now the only greatest reason I'm doing this is because Pathfinder said well one of his quips for Ping Marvin is that it's sleeping. So activating hardware with you. Didn't do anything. At all. You can like shoot him, but yeah. you don't really get anything out of that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't reckon Watson would do anything either. Like those other two electric people, but yeah, we've got ourselves some Marvin, I guess. Alright, so if you're wondering with these videos, why exactly I go into trios when I'm just going to leave them? Well, it's because if I went into duos and I'd be leaving the other person behind, if they ran into people, it would be two on one. If I go into trios, however, it will be a two on three, which is slightly better because, well, sure, they're still down one person, but it's not like the other team can do double the fire rate that they can. It's close to, but it's not exactly double. But anyway, this is Channel 450. My name's O. That's all again. Signing out. Alright, so... Checking the store, I guess. Okay, so we've still got the launch bundle for another two, three days, three hours. It is interesting how these ones are like 15, or 15, 13. And this one's free, but... Oh well. Anyway, we've got Poetic Justice as like the gun you can buy with 
Apex coins. And then we've got Tidal Wave. Which I said wasn't that good in my, like my ranking the best legend jokes. But however, Rising Tides. With like the blue. I reckon it looks much better. Like the brown's not that good, but blue looks pretty good. Uh, next we've got Pest Control. And all that. And that's followed up by the final boss. Again, the blue makes it look better. I don't know though. But yeah, I reckon that's everything.